Hey, what's up? This is Benita Massey, AKA Nina, for another segment of Not a Diet, But a Life Change. Not a diet, but it's a life change. Um, today I'd like to talk about several um, topics. I would like to talk about taking vitamins. I would like to talk about taking diet pills. I would like to talk about drinking teas. And I would like to talk about surgical procedures. Okay, let's jump into the, the uh, vitamins. Okay, um, I suggest that everybody takes a vitamin, be it if you're um, on a life change or not. Um, a vitamin gets some of the stuff that's not in our food supplements that we need in our body, um, in our bodies. Um, a vitamin also helps the people who are doing those extraneous diets, such as 12 calorie diets, um, military diets, water fasts, get a vitamin in your system. Okay. It'll help you out. It'll give you what you're supposed to have. It'll give you some of your daily intake. Um, Plus, as you get older, you need a vitamin in you anyway, because um, as you get older, there's some things that we're not getting from our food <clears throat> that we need in our body. Okay. Um, there's also fish oil vitamins. There is uh, iron supplement vitamins. There's your uh, hair, nail, and um, skin vitamins. I mean, there's all types of vitamins out there. Please just get a vitamin in your life as far as um, something that you may be lacking. And you can find out through your doctor what you're lacking so that you can just get that in your system. And it's really good to just get a multivitamin in your system anyway for daily intake. <clears throat> Next, I would like to talk about taking um, diet pills. I'm not opposed to taking diet pills. As you all know, I've taken um, several diet pills and I've said it over and over. Um, but what I want to talk about is something that I've actually done um, and I, I just want people to, to, you know, maybe we should change this particular thing that we've done. Um, let's pay attention to what the vitamins say. I mean, the uh, diet pills say. Let's read them fully. And let's um, make sure that we're following directions on them because a lot of times we're not doing that and we need to do that as well as um, um, when you're taking the diet pills most diet pills say that you need to take them with a healthy diet and active lifestyle that would help increase your weight loss so um, you can't just be sitting here saying I'm gonna go ahead and take these diet pills but I'm gonna eat this whole bag of chips and this pizza and this pot and watch TV and I'm not gonna move and this and other and I'm gonna expect to lose weight. It's not how it works. Um, so what you wanna do is you wanna get um, a regiment going with your dieting or your um, food intake as well as get a regiment going with working out <clears throat> in order to see success with any diet pill that you take. Um, next I like to talk about the teas. Yes, tea baby. Mm. Um, so the teas, um, there is a, uh, trending on the, um, green tea, obviously. A lot of people take it, a lot of people drink it. Um, green tea is really good for you. It cleanses you out. It helps you when you're doing the dietary diet. Um, it's a good dietary, dietary supplement. Um, so the green tea is good for you. But I want to talk about some teas that we may not know about and that um, a lot of people slip on. They're like, oh, I don't know about the teas, so I ain't going to take it. But you're slipping. You are slipping on something that you might need in your system. Um, there is a tea called dandelion tea. A lot of people take it. It's an old school tea. It's a tea that's been around for a while. And a lot of old school women, men, they used to take it back in the day. And it's now coming back around um, full circle. Um, dandelion tea is good for your liver. It's good um, as a good cleanser. It's good as a good um, anti antioxidant. Um, <clears throat> it's just a good tea that you should try to get for a daily regimen of. Um, also, there's calming teas, relaxing teas, energizing teas. Um, there is your chamomile tea. It calms you down and relaxes you after you've worked out. Those are all good. Get you calm and go to sleep, you know, to get your rest and go to sleep and things like that. Um, there's also um, the, 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 the pomegranate tea, which is for energy. You get energized from it. There's um, natural boosting um, um, things that are in it to help you boost for your workout. <clears throat> There's um, teas that help you get um, weight loss. It burns fat. Um, a lot of your cinnamon teas, teas that have cinnamon in it, spices like that, um, 
it helps you lose weight um mint tea is a really good tea it's an old school tea as well um that a lot of people used to take back in the day and um it's it's for all um in person all purpose health mint tea is so it's a really good good tea that you want to take um the last thing i'm gonna talk about really quick is surgeries and the reason why i wanted to jump on the surgeries for a little bit is um i was actually at the gym and two young ladies was talking about surgeries they were talking about the lap band surgery and they were talking about the um gastric bypass surgery um and i kind of want to touch on those a little bit i i i I'm not against getting surgeries. And I believe that surgeries could help you if you, you know, needed it. Um, for severely obese people and they need that that help to lose the weight, people who can't walk, people um, who it's really hard to lose weight and, you know, they're overweight by a dramatic amount, then by all means, if that's the surgery that's for you, please, you know, just do your research before you get it. Um, like I said, I was at the gym and I was talking to two young ladies, um, both of which have had each of the surgeries. Um, one of the ladies had the uh, lap band surgery. And her output from it was that um, basically she, um, in the beginning of her getting the surgery, uh, she didn't follow the directions fully. And um, she, her, the surgery had... Um, did the backwards effect and basically what that means is it, it, it um the band uh I, I i'm not sure how she explained it it was like it either busts or it um it it, it it had to be taken out so basically she had to get it taken out and she got now what's called a sleeve on her this is something new i don't know anything about the sleeve um but she said she has a sleeve put on her stomach now um, and the sleeve is supposed to help her maintain her weight. Now, what I want to say about this is whatever you're going to do, be it dieting, weight loss, um, I'm sorry, dieting, diet pills or surgery. If you're not going to follow the instructions, it, it probably won't work. So listen, just why waste your money? Why waste your money time and why get cut on if you're not going to do it? You need to follow it correctly and, 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 and let's be healthy about it because you don't want to end up dead because you're um, not following instructions and you're like trying to eat a whole pizza pizza and you know you can't get it through that little tube. It just, I mean, through the little band area. It just doesn't make sense. It just, I don't, I don't understand. Don't get it. <coughs> um, and then I talked to the lady, like I said, she had the uh, gastric bypass and she was saying, you know, she was like a dramatically um, amount overweight. Like she was like about 400 pounds or so. And um, she now is like a hundred and I think she said 150 pounds, which she looks like she's hundred. I mean, she looks really little. And she said the, um, the problem was that um, mentally she wasn't ready to lose all that weight. And people were like, what you mean? I ain't mentally ready to lose all that weight. When she explained this, I was like, wow, I didn't even think about that. She, um, she said that when she started dropping weight, she would drop and then she would go get clothes and they would be too baggy and so her self-esteem would be down. And then she would drop again and then she'd try to go get some clothes and then she'd drop again. Her, and, and it was like this downward spiral of her getting um, self-conscious about what she was wearing. Um, and, you know, her clothes didn't look right on her. And, and, and it's, it's, it's funny because you're like, you know, you should be happy that your clothes look, but you never know what your mental status is going to be, especially when you see that your clothes is hanging off of you, your skin is not hanging the same anymore, just all types of things. And, it, and you know, losing weight that fast, you, you may not be mentally ready to lose weight that fast. And I know people are like, well, I'd rather lose weight fast than lose weight slow and be struggling to lose 100 pounds. But until you're in that predicament, everybody is different. You don't know. And that's why I say do your research, see all of the outcomes, see all of the effects, see everything that it's going to, you know, do to you before you do it. Um, so my, for my final thoughts today, whatever you do, please try to be as healthy as possible. Please try to research everything that you can. We are community. Get your friends involved. Get, get, get your family involved. Um, get a group, a support group involved um, because you don't want to be out here on this limb. And, and, and just go all the way, 
off the limb. I mean, you just don't want to do it. Um, so, like I said, um, have a community, have support, research what you're going to do, know what you want to do before you do it. So make a plan. Um, thank you for tuning in as always. Please subscribe. Please like us. Please share. Please be a community for somebody. Let somebody um, know that you are behind them and support them. Even if you don't tell them about the channel, just help somebody. Help somebody with with words of encouragement because losing weight is really hard, y'all. It's really, really, really hard. And it's really hard being bigger sometimes for people. Um, it's really hard to, you know, know that you can't get into certain outfits because of whatever the case may be. It's really emotional sometimes and it takes a, a toll on you and it's a draining process. So help somebody out. Let them know that you are supporting them and you are trying to be by their side while they're going on whatever journey they're going on. I'd like to thank you for being on my side and being in this journey with me and watching. Please stay tuned for more. Um, also, I'm sorry that my special guests did not come on, but they will be on um, with the food and cooking us a meal and showing us, um, you know, the cooking portion of things. Um, so I'd like to thank you once again for your support. And um, I'd like to thank you for supporting someone else. So, um, with, with, with all that, that's going on in the world, having support and having somebody that's, that's by your side when you're going on, what could be potentially the biggest journey of your life could be the, the biggest change of your life. Um, it's up there with getting married. It's up there with having kids. It's up there with gaining the weight. It's, it's there. I mean, those things, you know, coming down from being wherever you are is really hard and it's really, it's a struggle and, and, and it's something that you need support on daily. Um, oh, and I'm sorry, just last thing and I'll, I'm going to let you guys go. So I was at um, 301. Obviously, everybody knows that I've, I've been telling my weight, you know, I don't care. Um, I was at 301. I am now at 275. So I'm 26 pounds in, y'all. 26 pounds in what? Four more pounds and we will be at 30 pounds. When I get to my 30 pound mark, I'm going to have a hoo -hoo -hoo. So, um, like I said, thank you guys. Love you. God bless you. Share, like, and email if you have any questions.